In order to get a working internet connection in your home, you need both a modem and a router. How you deploy your modem and router, however, is up to you. You have the choice of buying standalone modem and router devices, or you can buy a modem router combination device, which essentially just takes these two devices and combines them into one. In this episode from Network From Home, we're going to be breaking down the pros and cons of each of these choices and when you would want to deploy each one in your home network. Let's start by talking about a modem router combination device. Now I've broken down how these devices work in a previous video, but in short, as I mentioned, they combine the functionality of your modem and your router. So in other words, your modem router combination device gives you a connection to the internet, which is the function of your modem in your home network, and it also allows all the devices in your home network to use that internet connection, including wirelessly over Wi-Fi. And that's the functionality of the router in your home network. So what are some benefits of deploying a modem router combination device in your home network? Well, first and foremost, modem router combination devices can have a cheaper upfront cost as opposed to buying a standalone modem and standalone router. In terms of the long-term costs of modem router combination devices, We'll touch on that later, but as of right now, if you just need to get your internet up and running, you want to do so in a budget-friendly manner, a modem router combination device can provide you that option at a slightly lower price point. Another benefit about modem router combination devices is they're just easier to set up and manage. You only have one device that you need to configure and make sure is working properly, whereas if you have a modem and router that are standalone devices in your home network, you'll need to make sure that they're both working properly and set them both up the first time that you put them in your home network. On top of that, modem router combination devices should be pretty familiar to you. If you've ever rented your internet equipment from your internet service provider, they usually provide you with a modem router combination device just to make it easier to set up your home network. If you're noticing a common theme about modem router combination devices, it's that their focus is on simplicity. They want to make it easy for you to get up and running with your internet connection in your home. They're especially great if you don't make a ton of changes. They have limited features, which we'll talk about later. But at the end of the day, if you just want a working internet connection, a modem router combination device will do just fine. Piggybacking off this simplicity concept, another benefit of modem router combination devices is that they just have a smaller footprint. It's only one device. You only need to plug one device into the power outlet. It takes up less physical space than a standalone modem and router combination device. You don't have as many wires to manage, ethernet cables, anything like that. It just kind of streamlines everything and it makes your footprint easier to manage. On top of that, it makes the purchasing process a lot more streamlined as well. Just in the sense that you only need to find one device that's a good fit for your internet plan. Obviously, if you have a separate modem and separate router, you need to make sure those two devices play well together. They're both a good fit for your internet plan. There's just a little bit more that goes into it when you have two devices that you need to match up with your internet plan and with each other. If these devices are sounding really good to you, there are a few caveats you need to keep in mind as well. With all this simplicity comes a reduction in performance. What I mean by that is that there are less features in modem router combination devices, there's less fine tuning you can do for your home network, and as a result you can't really maximize your internet connection as well as a standalone modem and standalone router. Another downside here is that internet technology advances really quickly. As you've seen in recent years we've had Wi-Fi 6, Wi-Fi 7. Those are all new developments in the last few years. And if you want to keep upgrading your home network to be able to use those new features and new internet functionality, then you'll need to replace your entire modem router combination device. This goes along with what I was saying earlier about a modem router combo being cheaper upfront. Although this might be true, if you keep having to replace your modem router combo every time you want to add new internet functionality to your home network, this could end up being more expensive than a standalone modem and router because in those cases you only need to replace your router and you can probably keep your modem for an extended period. So who should buy modem router combination devices? To be honest with you, even if you're a non-technical person, I don't generally recommend these devices to anybody. 
And that's because although they offer a simpler setup, easier management, in the end, they're not that much more complex than a standalone modem and router, and you sacrifice quite a bit of performance in order to get that simplicity. From my perspective, if you're going to be spending all that money every month on a good internet plan, you want to make sure you have devices that can take advantage of that, and they have the option of being flexible and more configurable when your internet needs change in the future. With that said, if you're a non-technical person, you just want your internet to work, you want an easy device to set up, and you're not concerned with squeezing every ounce out of your internet plan, then a modem router combo device can still be a good option. This is especially the case if you're currently renting your equipment from your internet service provider. In my opinion, that's the worst thing you could be doing. So if you're doing that, the next best step is to buy a modem router combo device if you're not willing to go with a standalone modem and router. Which brings us to standalone modem and router devices. As you can tell, the difference here, your modem with its modem functionality and your router with its router functionality, they're isolated in your home network when you have standalone devices. These two devices are connected with an ethernet cable, so they function together, but these two devices remain separate. While a modem router combo offers simplicity, a standalone modem and router offer flexibility. What I mean by this is that you can get a modem and a router that are perfect for your internet plan and your future needs. You have a lot more options when it comes to the modem and routers that you can buy. On top of that, you can implement different home networks. For example, you can implement a mesh Wi-Fi if you have a larger home, or you can upgrade to that in the future if you have standalone modem and router devices. As I mentioned previously, you also have the option to upgrade these components individually. If you have a Wi-Fi 5 router, Wi-Fi 6 or Wi-Fi 7 comes out, you start to have devices in your home that take advantage of these new capabilities. All you have to do is upgrade your router and you'll be able to use Wi-Fi 6 or Wi-Fi 7 or whatever you're interested in. On top of that, if you have problems in your home network, say one of your devices fails, it's a lot cheaper to just replace your modem or your router than replace a modem router combo device. This goes into what I was saying earlier about a modem router combo device being potentially more expensive in the long run than a standalone modem and router. Another thing I've mentioned previously is that modem and routers for standalone devices offer a lot more functionality, a lot more features, a lot more customization than modem router combo devices. With that said, there are some modem and router combo devices, especially advanced and more expensive ones, that offer more features and functionality, but if you wanna guarantee that you have the maximum customization for your home network, you want a standalone modem and router. What I'm talking about here is prioritizing traffic, VPN services, security features, parental controls, all of those things you know you'll be getting with a standalone router in your home network, whereas some modem router combos don't have all of those things. Okay, so these are all great things, but what are some potential downsides of having a standalone modem and standalone router in your home network? Well, the first thing that pops out, you have multiple devices. It is more complex to set up, but I would say it's not that much more complex. If a modem router combination device is a one to set up, a standalone modem and router is a three or four. If you need some help in setting up these devices, just check out my channel. There are plenty of videos that will help you get these things up and running. And once they're up and running, they're pretty much set and forget. Standalone modems and routers can be more expensive than modem router combos up front. But as we've discussed, it is very likely that on a long-term basis, you may be spending less for these standalone devices than you would if you have to replace your modem router combo every few years. Another thing to consider here is that a standalone modem and router, they have a slightly bigger footprint than a modem router combination device. At the end of the day, these devices both need good airflow so they don't overheat. But at the same time, we're not talking about a ton of space here. They just need two power outlets. They need an ethernet cable connecting them. At the end of the day, it's not the end of the world. And I think comparatively, it's not saving too much space when you have this compared to this. I want to be very clear here that although there are some minor downsides of standalone modem and routers, 
from a performance standpoint, those benefits far outweigh these potential downsides. Honestly, I would recommend a standalone modem and router to just about everybody. If you work from home, standalone modem and router. If you competitively game online, standalone modem and router. If you're a non-technical person, but you're willing to spend a few extra minutes setting up these devices, standalone modem and router. Also, if you have a complex home network or you plan on building on your home network in the future, standalone modem and router. In just about none of these circumstances would I recommend you get a modem router combo, unless of course you really don't wanna spend any time setting up this equipment and you're currently renting from your ISP. After this analysis, you should have enough information to make a decision about what you want to deploy in your home network. And I'd love to see in the comments section what you have deployed. Do you have a standalone modem and router or do you have a modem router combo device? As always, thanks for checking out this episode from Network From Home and we'll catch you on the next one.